Hey guys, Ray here again. If you'd like to subscribe, it's Nitro Kyosho. Uh, what I have today is the Turnigy 3D-H fly barless system, the V2, which supports satellite. Uh, and it came nicely packaged here in a nice foam box, and we'll open this up. And the unit's already, as you can see, installed. You get all your different connectors here if you're going to use a receiver. So you can plug this with these into your receiver. And they give you a little screwdriver for adjusting the little pots. You get a full manual. Okay. And you get a cheat sheet. Okay. And now, guys, to start off, um, this, well, first of all, I am probably uh, the most negative person, guys, when it comes to anything clone related. Okay. I don't like clones. Um, I don't like clone helicopters, clone parts, uh, any of that kind of stuff. Um, now, this came. Highly, highly recommended to me by a good friend at a local hobby shop, Big Jim the Ultimate Man. And uh, he said he's used this. He knows people that have been using this unit and having success, and it's a good unit. It's uh, basically when you see uh, the sheet here, it is a Beastex clone, uh, no doubt about it. The manual here, if you just want to just look at the first couple... For this unit position a upright flat uh, B swash plate servo frequency and now mount and orientation swash plate servo frequency C tail servo frequency D E F they're all the same guys and pirouette optimization swash plate sense of direction M, M, L, L. It is a clone. Okay, so you can use the B-Stex uh, guide here. Uh, Big Jim said there was a lot of flaws in this book, not to use it. Uh, so I didn't. He said use the quick start guide that they give you here. Okay. And we're just going to Go over a few little things here. Uh, and I'll do a flight uh, a review on this once I use it, guys. Uh, don't run out and buy these. Um, I haven't tested it yet. I don't know if this thing's going to do something crazy and smash my helicopter. It's a, uh, I only paid $50 for it from Hobby King. Uh, but I'd like to give you some tips anyways uh, for now. Uh, the configuration of way these pl plug in is different than a B stacks. Okay, uh, obviously the first thing you want to do is you don't want any servos or any wires connected in this unit. You want to bind it. Uh, your satellite, if you're using a satellite, guys. Okay, uh, you're gonna put your bind plug into where it says here uh, S Y S system. Okay. And your satellite is actually going to plug into where it says elevator, which becomes the confusing part for a lot of people. So, from this end, you bind it the same way you bind anything, guys. You put it in the system, you let it start blinking, and you know how to do that. Um, but anyways, that's if you, you know. Uh, let's talk about the way these are configured, because that's the confusing part. Now this is going to start SYS, Auxiliary Gear Rudder, Elevator, Aileron, Channel 1, Channel 2, Channel 3, Channel 4. Okay? If you are using this with a satellite unit, this is how you plug everything in once you bind it and you put in your proper uh, servo hertz and frequencies. Don't plug anything, any servos in guys until you do that because you don't want to fry your servos. So, once you got that done, uh, the first one, channel 4, is going to be your rudder. 
The next one, channel 3, is going to be the aileron pitch, which is going to be the servo on the left side of the helicopter here. Okay, let me... It's always this one. This is always the aileron pitch. Okay. Uh, the next one, channel 2, is going to be uh, your other aileron on the other side. Obviously on the right side. Uh, and then channel 1 on here is going to be your elevator servo. Okay. Now the tricky part here. The, the one that says aileron on here, do not plug the aileron into that. Uh, that is for the throttle, the ESC goes into the aileron. Once again, aileron is the throttle ESC. And the one sitting right next to that, the last one there that you're going to be using, says elevator, okay, and the satellite plugs into there. So, it's a little confusing, guys. Hopefully that helps uh, clarify it if you do pick one of these units up. Uh... But it programs exactly like a B Stex, uh, identical, okay, and hopefully it'll perform like a B Stex. Uh, like I said, this was a $50 unit. It came from Hobby King, the U.S. Uh, warehouse. And once again, like I said, I'm probably one of the biggest non believers in clone stuff. So this will either continue to make me a non believer or it will make me uh, start looking at clone stuff a little bit differently. Uh, but anyways, uh, I wouldn't run out and buy one if you want me to be the guinea pig and test it for you. I'll get back to you guys probably uh, this Sunday or Monday with another uh, review telling you if this thing is uh, the best thing since sliced bread or a defective piece of junk. <laughs> you know. Uh, so right now the jury's out on this unit. We've got nothing uh, bad or good or indifferent to say about it. And hopefully uh, um, Sunday or Monday I can make another video telling you what this unit is all about and how it performed. Okay, guys? So, anyways, once again, it's the Turnigy 3D-H fly, bar fly, fly Barless system, excuse me, V2. And as far as Jim told me, make sure you get the V2 because if you buy the V1, you cannot use satellites with it. You have to use a receiver. So, anyways, guys... Uh, thanks for watching, and I'm very hopeful. I'm hoping I can come back and tell you guys this is a great unit. So we'll talk to you soon.